Ladies, it's your late night lover, Justin Love. On the phone right now, I have, well, I guess we would call her Sacramento's finest, <laughs> Nastasia Townsend, a.k.a. The Powerhouse for the Bad Girls Club Season 7, a.k.a. Stassi Quinn. How you doing, ma'am? <laughs> I'm good, God. How are you? You got more AKAs than any woman I know. <laughs> Can you kind of give us just a, a brief rundown about how you came to be on the show? And maybe some tips for some girls out there that are trying to get on the next big show like Bad Girls Club. I got on Bad Girls Club by accident. Uh, I got an email about auditions, and I was like going back and forth with my um, with my dad, mm-hmm. and he was like, "Do it, you know? Why not? What stories I can tell you know?" And I was like, I literally decided against it. My dad was like, "You're going to be so mad at yourself." And my homegirl came out of nowhere and was like, "I'm going to try for Bad Girls Club." And I was like, okay, maybe this is a sign I should go. So I went. <laughs> and it just kind of happened. And I was like, oh, my goodness. I didn't think I was going to make it. but Why didn't you think you were going to make it? Because um, the audition was crazy. It was a whole bunch of actresses. They were putting on shows and uh-huh. doing extra stuff. And I was just looking like, wow, these girls are really trying. And I wasn't. <laughs> I told myself that I was going to go in there and I was going to be myself. And if I made it being myself, then it was meant. And if, it, if I didn't, then I didn't. So that's what I did. So it sounds like father knows best and sometimes homegirls do too. Yeah. My homegirl, she was like, I, she's like, they're so going to pick you. I'm like, no, they're not. But, yeah. You guys just kept it real. You were just yourself as opposed mm-hmm. to all the uh, the aspiring actresses and drama queens out there trying to get an Academy Award. Yeah, mm-hmm. I just I felt like it was it was too easy to spot out the extra. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, no, you're not going to pick your picture you're doing too much. And it was just too extra. People were trying too hard to prove that they were bad rather than just being themselves. Instead of just being bad. Mm-hmm. When you're just naturally bad, I got you. <laughs> I don't think. See, I don't think I'm bad. I have a bad, like my mouth is bad, uh-huh. and I sometimes have a bad attitude. But other than that, I don't think I'm that bad. Like I'm regular. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Look, for you being regular, you're one chick I never want to share a bathroom with. Because if I <laughs> if I accidentally touch your contact lenses, it's all over with. I've seen that. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm all down for accidents. It's when you purposely try and blind me that you have a problem. <laughs> I was like, man, she got her straight in the face. I, I'm not even trying to touch her eyewear. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a big fan of liars. Yeah. So, I mean. <laughs> okay, well, that, that makes sense. From the, the reality shows you've seen and the experience you have, how much of it would you say is really reality TV as opposed to staged reality TV? Um, I can say from kind of knowing a little bit of insight Mm -hmm. that there's only two reality shows that are on TV right now that aren't staged or scripted. What are those two shows? Um, Bad Girls Club and Real World. Bad Girls Club and Real World are the only two shows you believe that are literal no, that I, Yeah, that I'm, yeah mm-hmm, that I'm pretty sure of. Okay. From inside, from inside scoops and information. What shows do you think are so over the top that it's obvious to you? Um, all the shows. I can't even watch reality TV no more. Really? Yeah, I can't. Like, I never really, like, I got into it with the whole flavor of love thing. Uh-huh. And I tried to dibble and dabble into the love for the love of Ray J and all that type of stuff. Mm-hmm. But now, I can't watch reality TV to save my life. I can't even watch talk shows because I'm, like, looking at everything and everything's plotted and everything's planned and people... Like, everything, just like, I'll be like, oh, my God, they got paid to say that. Like, someone paid them to put that in there. Like, it's just all fake. So I just wow. like, this is fake. Yeah, it's crazy. Hmm. You never will look at it again. Like, it's just like you listen to radio. Like, when mm-hmm. last time you were able to enjoy someone else's radio show? Oh, yeah, I'm always like, oh, why would he say that? And yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, you're right. So it, it's the same thing. I just it's, just, it's so funny to me. Now I watch it as a joke. I don't really get into it or anything. It's like, I don't hate people. Like, people be like, oh my God, I hate her. Mm-hmm. She did this and she flipped up and I'm like, it is, you do it like it's TV, right? Like, yeah. it's probably super edited or, you know, she probably made that up in her head. So. Yeah. You pretty much just call them right out. It's obvious mm-hmm. once you've been there. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I was talking to a few people earlier this week. I have a few uh, friends of mine that were big fans of the show. They asked me if I could get your side of the altercation with Tasha from the show. Oh, um, between me and her? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was, you know, like I said, there's a lot more to every story. It's so much stuff, and for 
for all this the sly comments and the racial slurs and all uh-huh. that you you kind of for someone like me the test for me was to hold to hold myself and not do nothing out, out of character and knock her out so mm-hmm. for her to finally put her hands on me that's what I was waiting for and you know mm-hmm. it's there like I said it's edited so for when she slapped me and I like punched her and was like girl don't put your hands on me and then she hit me and then I looked at the, the producer and was like you seen that right that she that was a hit okay so you seen that so now I can whoop her ass right and that's what I went about doing and it was more to the story than you know five seconds and now she got to get out it was all the extra all the just what like oh girl shut up already you know you next a black man you don't have to every time you talk to me because I'm black you don't have to talk about how many black men you just screwed or what you mm-hmm. gonna do with this black dude and you're so down I'm down I like black men like girl oh you're not like oh and like you know just stupid stuff like oh I miss you home and this and that bragging like girl get about my face like I don't want time for this so when she this put her hands on you face. that was the green light yeah that yeah. was the green light. And it wasn't about bullying. Like, everybody claims I'm some big bully. Like, mm-hmm. oh, my God. Like, it's not about bullying. Like, someone put your hands on you in the street. Like, you telling me you're not going to knock them out? No, come on now. Right, right. So it's just you just stand it up for yourself, basically. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I know that both you and and she were both summoned with, with the police. What happened with that? Or, or can you share? They never could really say not to. Um, yeah, she really did call the pol- the real police, mm-hmm. not the fake for TV police. <laughs> like, you know, real life still does go on outside of, you know, the cameras. Yeah. And so she called the police and really, I like really had to pay fines and I really had to really? fly back to New Orleans and go to court. Like, yeah, real, real life, real police. Wow. Mm-hmm. So, so I had a they, warrant out for my arrest in New Orleans when I went back to court. You had a warrant for your arrest mm-hmm. in New yeah. Orleans when you went back to mm-hmm. court. Yeah. Wow. And I've never, I've never had any run-ins with the law. So at that point, I was pretty much like it was all I was ready to kill because I prided myself on staying away from being on the other side of the law. Right. And to right. have some ignoramo put their hands on me and then try and press charges on me for knocking them out is ridiculous. Now, did the producers of the show, were they involved as far as in the legalities of the event? I mean, because it mm-hmm. was on their show. I will say this. There's contracts involved uh-huh. between me and her. And okay. there's certain things that we agreed not to do that were broken. Mm-hmm. So we see who stayed and we see who went home. So okay. I'll leave that back. Okay. Yeah. So. <laughs> Look, the facts <laughs> speak for themselves, huh? <laughs> Yeah, but as far as, you know, my gym, like me going to court and stuff, mm-hmm. you know, I'm a grown woman. So it was like, they just basically was like, you're a grown woman. It's your responsibility. Unfortunately, you know, I signed a contract state and I wouldn't do things. I didn't break that contract. Mm-hmm. So I still had to take care of my business. Right. So that's what I did as a grown woman. Okay. Care of, my business. of course, the season finale had a little different results. Yeah, some people are cry babies. That's what I was going to ask. I mean, as far as with what happened with you and Shelly, I mean, was it a goal of yours, if you will, to have lasted the entire season or? Yes. Okay. Definitely. That was my intention. Mm-hmm. Like I said, like when I, I wasn't a huge bad, bad or club watcher at all. So okay. when I made my, like when I first got the email, I had seen like a couple of episodes and I was like, is that that show that I've seen? Mm-hmm. Let me look it up, and I'm a I'm a big Google head, so I googled and I like read a lot of stuff, and I was like, oh, it's about helping women, you know, change and better themselves. And I know I got a bad mouth; I need to learn how to, you know, hold my temper when it comes to certain things. So maybe this could really help, like mm-hmm. you know, let's see how this goes. And that was my idea of what the show was gonna be. Um, stupid me, because uh, no, it's all about drama and it's all about. You know who wants to be the baddest which i don't want to be the baddest that ain't like that's not my goal in life so unfortunately i got put in a situation i wasn't ready for but i think i did good and i stood my ground and i was myself and lasted the whole time which my parents told me they were like what do you want to do get out of me and going on the show i was like i want to prove to myself that i can last the whole time mm. and my dad was like, you get kicked off, don't come home. And I was like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? He, was, he was like, you get kicked off, don't come home. And I was like, wow. why would you say that? And he was like, you want to stay the whole time? Keep that in your head. Get kicked <laughs> off, you can't come home. Wow. I was like, oh, my God. Like, what? <laughs> so I used to call my dad every time I would get mad. I'm like, I'm coming home. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, okay. 
Go ahead. Your stuff gonna be in your car. Wow. Like, no. <laughs> no, he he's dead. Of course, he wasn't serious, but that was his way of like, you know, my dad is the only person who can calm me down and, and keep me sane. So. Wow, tough love from pops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's the worst and the best all at the same time. Wow, that's crazy. With the new season on board, what are your thoughts of season eight comparable to the season you were on? There is no comparison. How, how so? Um, No disrespect. This isn't like I just want to make sure that everyone understands. There's no disrespect to anybody and what they decide to do and how they go about doing it. Mm-hmm. I don't like throwing shade on other people mm-hmm. um, unless you throw shade on me first. But as far as this new season, I'm not a fan at all. Um, I haven't seen a backbone in the four episodes that I've watched. Mm. I haven't seen a backbone at all. So I'm just confused. I think it's no longer a casting process of who can be the dominant personality and who's strong and who can really do this and you know who really has a problem. I think it's more of a model search and who can get the drunkest and who looks the prettiest on camera. Okay. Because at this point, I haven't seen a backbone. I didn't seen like five people get jumped. Like what? It's mm-hmm. 2012. Who does that? We're grown. So like, you know, so yeah. it's like, I don't understand it. I don't get it. I'm completely confused. I see a lot of um, Academy Award winners. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm just like, hey, we need to start handing out Grammys because clearly, <laughs> Um, we got a lot of acting going on, so I find it pretty funny. So basically, it's another, um, as we were talking about earlier, it's, it seems to be more of a of an acting pretty girls, and mm-hmm. you said not a lot of backbone, not a lot of no. reality, not stuff mm-hmm. that makes sense in real life. No, and mm-hmm. not, there's a lot of people faking. Like, you know, I went, like, I always go, which I find funny because I did it for my season and I found it hilarious. Uh-huh. So I did it for their season and I went online and I watched all their casting tapes. Oh. And, um, yeah, you know, it's funny to see what people say to get on the show mm-hmm. and what they act like once they're there. So I find it funny. I find it funny. Do you think it's basically two different things from mm-hmm. okay night, night and day night and day night like you know day. they emphasize on the stuff that doesn't say a little bit and then they add whatever sounds mm-hmm. i was gonna ask do you have a favorite on the show and if so why this season mm-hmm. i haven't really watched i watched the first episode me and tiara sat down and watched the first episode okay and then me and her sat down again and watched the, episode, the first episode that we were on I didn't even watch the second episode I was on, and then I got suckered into watching an episode the other day because I was at a homegirl's house, and she refused to turn. And I'm like, girl, <laughs> this, we got Taraji, we got all these, we got right. all these want to be actresses. I don't want to see this. And I thought it was funny because it was like, really, like, I don't know, do you want to be sexy or do, do you want to be fighting? Like, I, I don't know. I don't want to be I don't get it. You got suckered into watching it. <laughs> yeah, and I was mad. Like, I was like, oh. I just kept going being like, oh. I spent the whole episode trying to convince my homegirl to try out. <laughs> <laughs> like, she was like, I don't really know. She's like, uh uh-uh, uh, this is fake. I'm real. I've been to knock somebody out in two days. I was like, yeah, you would. Never mind. <laughs>